How's it going everyone? My name is Nick and today I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be the best export settings from Audacity. Alright guys, so first up, what you want to do is make sure you have the correct microphone selected. There's nothing, nothing worse than recording your whole video and then realizing you were recording with the wrong microphone. It really does suck. Uh, but yeah, so select your microphone. I'm using the Blue Yeti. And uh, once you've done that, what you want to do is come down to the project rate here and select the correct project rate for your microphone. Uh, I know for a fact that the Blue Yeti records at 18,000 hertz, uh, but it's not hard to find any other microphone's project rate. Just Google uh, the name of your microphone and then followed by project rate and it, it should tell you. Uh, the next thing is audio gain or um, I believe it's recording volume in Audacity. Uh, this is, is kind of a thing you have to play around with, um, depending on how far you have your microphone from your, your mouth or um, the, the background noise, the environment you're recording in. Uh, so you're kind of going to have to play around depending on where you are, where you're recording, how far you are from, from your microphone and uh, stuff like that. I have mine at 0.40 and that seems good for me, so I'm going to keep it at that. Um, Next thing, what you want to do, guys, is when you start recording, you want to leave about a three to five second gap in between you hitting the record button and you actually starting speaking. Uh, this is going to give us a chunk of um, audio, a uh, chunk of the audio clip uh, in which we can select any background noise there and isolate the background noise, therefore removing it from the rest of the audio clip. So we're going to go ahead and click record. How's it going everyone? My name's Nick and today I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be the best export settings for Audacity. Alrighty guys, once we've got our clip recorded, we're going to select this first uh, four seconds here. We're going to come up to effect, we're going to go to noise reduction, and we're going to click get noise profile. What this is going to do is it's going to isolate the background noise there in that clip and then um, go through the settings and compensate for that. Therefore, we'll be able to take it out from the rest of the audio clip. So once we've done that, we want to double click on the audio clip, come up to effect. We want to go back to noise reduction and hit OK. And what that, that, that is going to do is it's going to take out um, all the background noise and leave us with a nice uh, crisp clip. Then we can select this part here and delete it because we don't need it. Uh, then what we can do is double click on the double click on the clip again, therefore selecting it. We're gonna go to effect, and we want to click compressor. Now what compressor does is it's really gonna um, make the peaks go a little higher and make our voice louder and uh, sound a bit more enthusiastic. Um, so I I think um, anywhere between negative 15, negative 20 is safe. Uh, what sounds best, however, is up to you to figure out. You're going to have to play around with it a bit to find out what sounds best for your voice. Um, I'm going to leave one on negative 15 and hit OK. And you can see that all the peaks rise up. And uh, it's going to make us sound a little bit louder. Then we want to go to Effect. And we want to go to Bass and Treble. Now, if you uh, want to go a bit more in-depth and uh, create a bit more of a professional uh, quality sounding audio clip, then um, I will record another video probably tomorrow or the day after about how we can do that. Um, but this is just a basic tutorial. It's going to teach you how to quickly and easily uh, produce something that sounds good. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up bass and treble and you want to set your bass to something between say two and six uh, decibels. This is going to um, just make your voice sound that little bit richer and uh, gonna sound a lot more crisp and professional. Uh, if you have a high pitch voice, you wanna go for a lower um, amount, say two or three. And if you have a deeper voice, you wanna go for something like five or six. Then we're gonna hit okay. And it's just gonna bring our peaks down a little bit. And, uh, and then we can play back the clip and listen to what it sounds like. How's it going everyone? My name's Nick and today I'm going to be showing you what I believe to be the best export settings for Audacity. There you go guys, you can see it just makes it sound that much better, that much clearer and crisper and it 
produces somewhat of a professional audio clip that you can add over the top, that you can add to your commentary, um, or if you're doing a podcast or something like that. These are good settings uh, to get started, but I will be posting a video where we can go that one step further and create something of professional quality. Uh, but anyway, guys, to export, we're going to go to File, Export Audio, then we want to name our video, whatever, and hit Save. Uh, this box here, it's nothing major unless you're like an actual artist making, um, uh, singing a song or you're doing a podcast or something like that. You don't need to worry about it. Hit OK and that's it. The video is exported and uh, we, we're done. So guys, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. How's it going everyone? I'm Nick and I'm the best expert settings, screen flow 5, 